I was thinking about the left and the right, and there are, there are a few people out there who are still saying that people who are not completely in agreement with the folks on the left and are not completely in agreement with the folks on the right are centrists or moderates. What if the right and the left and the center were just positions on a single game board? What if we moved off the game board of politics and entered the wonderful world of free thinking? What if, instead of waking up each day and remembering who we had picked as our enemies and who we had picked as our fellow travelers, we woke up each day with a grin, ready to be productive, ready to make that day the best day of our lives thus far, ready to get rich while helping others find their happiness. What if we thought about creativity, about what our day and our life could look like? The point of this video is that I think we might all be better off if we used our powerful brains to open up and see how much wonderful goodness we can create in the world. I've discovered what I think is a pretty good way. However, the purpose of this video is to encourage you to think about your way. I'll share mine, and I expect that your way is not going to be identical to mine. I've boiled my country philosophy down to three basic things, and I'm not even sure they're that different from each other. Voluntarism. Voluntarism is a philosophy that when we get rid of all the extras that those of us who believe in it like to add on, if we just get down to the basics of what voluntarism is, it is the idea that everything should be voluntary. All human interactions should be voluntary. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I think it does. And I think it's the way that the world can go forward and we can produce the most happiness and, and, and food and, and buildings and, and just wonderful lives for human beings. I think it's the way forward. Just everything we do, it must be voluntary. We don't use coercion. And that, that kind of goes into the next point, non-aggression. And some people call it the non-aggression principle, NAP. And I think of that as the idea that aggression is not uh, the same as violence. Violence is, you know, there could be a violent storm, or if someone attacks you, you could act violently. And those are not bad things. It's the initiation of violence that is wrong. And that's, that's what I think of as the word aggression. And so if none of us initiated force against anybody else or against their property, so I guess if I went and spray painted your house, <laughs> that would be aggressing against your property. That would not be right. So if I don't aggress against anybody, and I guess I shouldn't let anybody aggress against me, I think that'd be a pretty good way to live. I have trouble thinking of very many ways a person could seriously injure me if they didn't aggress against me or my property. And the final thing I'm thinking of here is consent. Consent is key. This idea that anything can be done to a person or anything can be required of a person without their consent, that doesn't seem right. It seems to me like that's almost a, a, a judge by which we could look at anything in life. That, that's a, a standard that we could hold up. And somebody says, well, was it okay if this person did this person uh, this, this way? Was this a wrong way to do them? And we would say, well, was it consensual? Well, if it was consensual, it was okay. If we said, well, what about what this person did to this person? Was it consensual? Was there consent? Well, if the answer is no, then it was wrong. If the answer is yes, then it was acceptable. It was morally acceptable. So these three things, voluntarism, non-aggression, and consent, I, I wonder if they might all be kind of one and the same thing wrapped up together. I'm not really sure. But these three things are the things that I have kind of concluded after a lot of thinking and reading and, and just, yeah, contemplating. Those are kind of the, the more important things to me. I, I guess they could be called values. Those would be things that are high values to me, my highest values. Yeah, I have a lot of things that, that I value, but those are up there toward the top. Now, if I think about my values and I compare those values to the behaviors of the left and of the right, and of the moderates, 
I don't see that they go along with these high values of mine, this voluntarism, non-aggression, and consent. They don't always agree with those. And so I find myself, and I like this, this is not a bad thing, I, I find myself stepping away from the mainstream crowd, and I find myself forging a new path. And it's not, uh, you know, it's not a brand new path. Other people have thought this way before. I'm not the first person to think this way. I'm guessing that you probably have some pretty similar ways that you think as well. I have a feeling that like me, you are not right, you are not left, and you are not centrist. You are you, and you get to choose what your values are and what your moral philosophy should be. I could suggest that you look into voluntarism. I could suggest that you look into anti-subjectivism. These are some interesting moral philosophies worth looking into. But you'll find your way. I'm finding my way. I don't think I've arrived at the absolute end point yet. I hope you haven't. I hope we both have open minds and we're looking for new information to perfect our way of thinking. Well, thanks for pondering and contemplating with me. I, I love thinking. I don't know if I ever come up with the perfect answers, but it sure is fun to think about how we can all have a better world.